Hey, uh, come to your TV and look at this video because it's shocking. Home surveillance cameras caught 16, the, the homeowner counted them, 16 illegal immigrants hopping a fence and cutting right through our next guest's backyard. All this happening in a gated community just three miles from the border with Mexico. That homeowner, Bonnie Fogg, joins us right now live from McAllen, Texas. Bonnie, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. So you got up uh, recently in the morning and you had a notification on your smartphone that there was some activity in your uh, backyard and you saw that. What would you think? I was totally surprised. I started shaking. It was like I couldn't believe that they were in my backyard and they were in my backyard for 20 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Can you tell what they were doing there? No, I didn't have cameras where they were, but they were on the side of our house right. and they were waiting for Border Patrol to clear away so that they could continue on their journey. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't know if uh, those are people in the country illegally, though, do you? Well, because they were running, um, I would assume that they had crossed the border like everyone else does and are just heading north. Mm -hmm. Because you're so close to the border, I know that in your neck of the woods, uh, the local authorities say, if you see something, say something, call us. You either call the uh, local police or you call Border Patrol. When you did, what did they say? Um, you go straight to dispatch. Um, they ask what you're calling about, where you're located, um, and... They usually send Border Patrol agents out to check out what's going on Right on a good day. <laughs> and and uh, I understand the Border Patrol agent you spoke to said, uh, after he looked at the video, said, I think they're runners. What are runners? Well, it's the demeanor of the illegals coming across the border has changed a little bit. In years past, they were on their way trying to get north and to infiltrate into the communities. Now they don't have to do that. They simply have to wait at a roadside and get picked up and then they're processed. The fact that this was a large group and they were running was a little bit out of our norm. Like last night we had a group that was picked up and it was 10. So this was nearly double the size of what would normally be coming through our community. Okay, so uh, I think the authorities referred to them as border evaders. So 16 in your yard and 10 in the neighborhood, your gated community last night? Yes. Unbelievable. And, and one of the reasons, Bonnie, <laughs> you find this um, troubling is because you spend a lot of time, uh, you know, in the neighborhood alone, right? Yes, yes. I mean, we have a, a great neighborhood and I don't feel um, threatened in any way. But when they come into your backyard and they're by your bedroom window for 20 minutes, that's disconcerting for me. Absolutely. And of course, Bonnie, you know, there's a, a national debate going on right now. The president says it is a crisis at our southern border, a humanitarian crisis. Um, some Democrats it say it is not. What do you think about the idea of a wall? If there was a wall between you and Mexico, what do you think about that? Well, it is, I believe that it will slow down the traffic. It'll be more controllable. Um, whether we, I think we need it. Um, and it's just a matter of getting it, getting it through. You know, it's, all right. Well, let's see what happens in Congress because uh, they've got to uh, take yeah. some action one way or the other. The president would like to see that. Yeah. Bonnie uh, Fogg, thank you very much for joining us from McCallum, Texas, telling us your story. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, once again, uh, Border Patrol agents said they were runners and a runner is somebody who tries to actively evade apprehensions by the agents. So there you go.